Trina. Here with Trini Culoque Designs. Go ahead and tell you this is a off day for me. I have been like, oh, it's a Monday. I normally love Mondays. Mondays is like my favorite day because it's the start of a new week and it's time to get things rolling and going. But today has been oh, one of those Mondays. Um, so, if you did not catch me Friday night, I hopped on here, it was kind of late, and I made this cute little welcome sign with y'all. I know it's backwards, I do apologize. And today we're going to make a bow for it. Um, I did go outside and I've already sprayed it, and I went and I sanded my edges. If you remember Friday night, I told y'all I was gonna sand my edges just to give it more of that rustic look. So I've done that and I absolutely love the way it looked. And I actually sanded some of the wood coming through on the blue. Hey, Miss Tammy and hey, Karen. How are you ladies doing? Yeah, when you hop on, tell me, hey, let me know where you're from, what you're doing on this Monday. Is it a crazy Monday for y'all? Oh, it's crazy, crazy. Let me pull it up on my tablet just to make sure everything's going good. Why am I on? Oh, dear Lord. I don't want to be on there. No, I'm on the, it's showing me somebody else's page, y'all. How do I get back on my page? How do I get back on my page? How did this happen? I'm so sorry. Y'all give me just a second. Um... No, ads manager, no. Dear Lord. Thank you so much, Tammy, for sprinkling. Hey, Miss Cindy. Hey, Miss Pamela. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Holly and Karen from West Virginia. How are you ladies doing? Okay, so I got to pull it up here. It's looking clear to me. Lord knows I got a nappy head. Y'all, it's not dirty. It's just nappy. It's just nappy. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to look at it from off my regular Facebook. Hello, girl. Yes, Crazy Monday for sure. Me, girl, oh, I've been running around like my head's been chopped off. I don't know what, I don't know what the deal is today. Hey, Teresa and Sandra. So, today I'm going to be making a quick little bow. And also, in this description, y'all, I am sharing a free shipping tip with y'all. It's a little shipping video that I did for my insiders. And I wanted to share that with y'all because sometimes just a new little tip kind of helps us out. So if you have not seen it, once I hop off of here, click on that little link in the description and fill out your info and you will be able to watch a little shipping tutorial and learn something new. Thank you, Sandy. Hey, Miss Marilyn. Oh, yes, y'all. I've been crazy. I went live on Miss Debbie's page. I think some of you were on there with me. Y'all, I could not get my words out. I couldn't even my introduction, just like it was today. It's like, I'm just off my game today, y'all. Gonna scoot y'all down. I'm off my game today. <laughs> Alright, so if you've been watching me, you know that I love to make my bows with a Bodabra. Cool beans, Shana. Um, so I've got my Bodabra, my very dirty Bodabra. I use regular floor wire. This is the 26 gauge from Wally World, Walmart. Um, and I always use wire ribbon, y'all. I don't ever use ribbon that's not wire for my bows. That's just my personal prefer preference, so do it however you like to do it. So what I'm thinking about doing is making a little bow, and I may add some of these cotton picks to it because I'm going to add it onto my door hanger here. But first, before I even start my bow, let's, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my wire hanger on my door hanger. And while I'm doing this, um, this is wire that I got. This is kind of like, um, it's not the like electric fence wire, but it's a 10 pound 
wire that I got from, I think it was Home Depot or Hobby Lobby. I meant not Hobby Lobby. Home Depot or Lowe's. It's by Blue Hulk. And when I started doing a lot of like the rustic look to like to my door hangers, I didn't want to have that shiny wire hanger on a door hanger that looked all rusty. So I seen this and I was like, that's exactly what I need. But it's kind of like a black and you, it actually gets like black on your hands a little bit. But I really like this, especially for like the rustic kind of door hangers. And it don't shine. You don't have a sparkling wire behind it. Today is Monday. The rest of the week would be better if you got this. Oh, Miss Kath, uh, Miss Marilyn, thank you so much. I sure hope so because today has been kind of hard, y'all. All right, so what I do is I use a drill press, or I used to use a Dremel before I started using my drill press. I just put me two little holes in here. I do not staple jute on my door hangers just because I don't, um, I don't feel like it secures it quite good enough. I feel like, especially if the door is like my door and it's used all day long. The banging and stuff, I'm scared that it's gonna, scared that it's gonna just fall out, fall off the staple. So I don't use, I don't staple my, my jute. And if I use jute, then a lot of times I'll make my holes bigger so it's easier to get my jute in there. And then I just use my needle nose pliers that's all rusty and so hard to open. And I just take it and I just roll it down on the top of my needle nose pliers and kind of create a little bundle of loopy loops there with my wire. And that secures it to where my wire is not going to come through my holes. My light's so bright, y'all, I'm screwing. Got my eyes quenching. Hey, Missy. Hey, Miss Pat from South Muggy, South Georgia. Miss Pat, it's Muggy here too. It is Muggy here too. Okay. My ear wants to hurt. All right, so let's get started. I've got a one and a half inch buffalo plaid. Then I've got a I would call this some kind of plaid. And it's kind of the teal color and white. Matches that pretty good. It's not the exact same color, but y'all, it's close enough. Also have a stripe kind of one. And then I have this canvas kind of neutral looking color with the buffalo plaid trim on the edges. So I'm gonna use these ribbons. I'm gonna use these ribbons. And I may add, I may add these. I think the cotton will be really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stick my cotton picks inside of my, my bodabra here. I want this to kind of hang, see how this is kind of going this way? So I want it to kind of hang that way. So I'm just gonna kind of move my own my cotton because it's wire in there so you kind of move that any kind of way you want to move it so it'll hang any kind of way I'm gonna put this one in there um, so what I normally do is I start with my widest ribbon this is a two and a half inch ribbon here so I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna start putting a loop Thank you, Miss Elaine, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. So I usually, I take a tail, put one up, put one down. So it's kind of like a, kind of like a crisscross there. Um, I don't have, I don't have, I don't know, this might be enough to do one more loop. Let's see. If it's not, then I'll just take it out. Yeah, it's enough to do one more loop. So I'm gonna have two loops of this one and a half, I meant this two and a half ribbon, which is gonna be really good for kind of like the base of a bow. Yep, 
y'all don't mind, hit that little button down there and sprinkle for me. I would appreciate it. Um, it's hot up here, hot. And a lot of times, y'all, I just give, I cut my ends at an angle. Sometimes I might duck tail them, but a lot of times I just do the easy way and just do an angle. Hey, Miss Rosemary. All right. I'm going to add this canvas one. I'm going to do two loops with it as well. I'm going to do one on both sides. I could have just like continued the loop and not cut it, but I like to have more of the like the tail sticking out too. And I just go one up and one down. Christine says the inside scoop is open, y'all. Oh, it is. Have I not said that? I'm telling you, it's my day off. It's a day I'm off today or something. I don't know. Y'all, help me out. But, yes, my inside scoop is open if you have been waiting to join. I'm going to do some raffia, y'all, because raffia is just so fun. But if you have been wanting to join and be part of a community, that is for painters and sellers, um, crafters, DIYers, y'all, DIYers. Is that even it? Then my inside scoop will be perfect for you. It is a group of ladies in there that is just uh, amazing. I have had some ladies in there that started making door hangers as a hobby and they've decided that you know once they posted on their on their facebook people started wanting to buy them so they're like i could totally sell these things and once that happened i realized that i needed to share some business tricks in there as well so inside of the scoop i actually teach you like a lot of the stuff that I did while I had my like Etsy shop going and when I like sold door hangers with like custom orders. So I touch base on the business side of it and help my ladies out as much as I can. Alright, so I've added that raffia. And besides all of that, y'all, I all I really want to talk about when it when I talk about the inside scoop is the fact just the community, the community inside of my lady, of my inside scoop, y'all, with my ladies, is truly, truly amazing. I'm gonna do two loops continuously with that one and just cut it off. I feel like I'm getting too much blue with the blue on here. But I am so proud of my ladies and the way that they just have stepped up to help each other out and just, I mean, they're always so willing to help each other. No matter what it is, I had one lady, one of my ladies, they needed help with making a logo. And one of my insiders, they just jumped right in on it and helped them and created a logo for them. And I was like, you know, that's what it's about. It don't have to be about like, just paint, 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 paint all the time. It is the, it's just a community of amazing, amazing ladies. And I'm telling you, I have learned so much just from watching them and talking to them. And yeah, it's, it's definitely a two way street when it comes to me teaching them and them teaching me. Because we, I have learned so much from them as well. Okay. Holly says, our hand lettering tutorials are amazing in the inside scoop. Oh, thank you, Holly. Yes, I do do the, the hand lettering. Um, and the thing with the hand lettering, y'all, is I'm learning. I am, I'm learning. 
and it's good to be a part of a group with like ladies that's all like kind of in the same stages as you are so like they're they're learning from me but they're also like learning from like my mistakes and that's what that's what I really like about it is the fact that they know that I'm not perfect and they know that I'm not a pro at doing stuff and they're still so willing to to allow me to like teach them from my mistakes and teach them like how what stages I'm going through to like improve myself does that make sense I hope that makes sense y'all all right so Ta -da! now we got a fluffy y'all so it's um let me fluff it I gotta concentrate gotta concentrate so if you are like want to learn hand lettering and stuff and you don't want to feel like you're so far behind or like someone's way more advanced than you are or something like that y'all I don't like ever want none of my members to feel like I don't know what I'm trying to say but I want them to know that I'm just like they are when it comes to the hand lettering I'm so new and learning right along beside with them and it's been so much fun. All right, so here's this is with a little bit of cotton. I'm not sure about that cotton, y'all. But let's put it on there and let's see. I'm gonna just put that on my floor and I'm gonna have to come up here and sweep. And I'm so off today, y'all. My words may not even be making sense. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my floor wire and I'm gonna stick it behind or stick it through my holes that I did with my wire for my hanging and then I'm going to tie it on the back and this way if my bow starts to look um, a little bit rugged and rough I could easily take it off make another one and attach it attach a brand new bow Of the inside scoop you do get two templates a month and I'll show you how to paint those two templates I'm not sure about that cotton y'all I got to trim that wrap y'all because it's kind of going crazy I'm hot I'm about to roast up here let me let this window blinding Whew. Lord have mercy y'all know it's got to be hot if I say it's hot because I'm usually freezing all the time and I'm hot okay so you see how I've just got it tied on the back of here Katie you like the cotton Miss Elaine likes the cotton Holly loves the cotton Mitzi loves the door hangers. Sue says that's beautiful. <coughs> oh, so much. Uh, Miss Sarah, it is da -da -da -da, the Bahama Blue by Deco Art. Yep. I painted this live with everyone Friday night. So if you want to watch it, I kind of show you the whole technique of kind of getting it this way and like go over the exact colors and the stencil okay I'm gonna lift this up and then I'm probably gonna flip it Miss Karen um yeah I guess it is for me um I've been wanting one for a while but have just never made one y'all I've never like made one for myself it's always been orders 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 and now that I don't take orders, it, it kind of gives me time to make me some door hangers and make my family some door hangers. 
I got to make my sister-in-law a cotton door hanger, so um, I may do that. So there it is. So that's cute. Let me flip this so y'all can see it the right way. Okay, here it is. So there's the welcome. It's got to your home down there. I did it in a lighter gray. But yep, I don't know, I do like the cotton. It's simple and it's not too much. Um, the bow's like not too big, but it's still pretty and it's still, still puffy. So yeah, I like it. Now let me flip y'all back the other way. And y'all see how easy that was? That was super easy using a bow dabber. You don't have to worry about sitting there and holding all that ribbon in your hands and your loops getting loose on you because that bow dabber works as your fingers and it, it holds things tight. So if you've never used a bow dabber, I highly recommend these things. Highly recommend them. All right, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. This is probably about the shortest live I have ever done on my page. So I'm gonna come through the comments real quick. Kathy says, love the colors. Well, thank you, ma'am. Sandra, I missed it. What is the what is it made of? Out of this is made out of a quarter inch triply wood that I get from Home Depot. Thank you, Natalie. And Miss Sue and Miss Elaine. Thank you, ladies, so much. So I'm going to hop off of here. Because I do have a Zoom call with my inside group tonight so get the kids and everything ready and so I can be free to come live with them where did you get the bow dabber Miss Sue you can get the bow dabber from Amazon I got mine from Walmart and they do sell them at Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby you can use the 40% off coupon so that's always a plus uh, the last time that I though that I seen them in Walmart it was a different kind it was made differently so I don't know if the new version of them works as well as this one does um, but you can try it but the, like I said and that's probably about a month ago that I looked and it wasn't this exact style but it was a bow dabra it was just kind of made different I think it was like a round so I can't sit there and say that that the new version that Walmart has of it will work this good All right, so ladies, yeah, so if you have not joined my Inside Scoop yet, what are you waiting for? It is a group of amazing ladies. I teach you two new templates a month, so that's two new door hangers. And if you think about it, if you sell your door hangers, if you sell one of your door hangers for $35 or $40, y'all, that will pay for your monthly subscription group to be inside of the Scoop. Um, so we do a DIY craft each month. For July, we're doing uh, um, the porch leaner with the planters on the bottom. Uh, we have Zoom Think Tanks, which is our 10 and 10. That's where you would come together on Zoom. We're all on the screen and we're chit-chatting about what we've learned the following month and what we want to do the next month. And we also talk about our business. We've got business accountability groups that we're putting together inside the scoop for those that want us to expand their hobby into a business and kind of like have someone side by side of them to kind of keep them intact and make them go forward with things instead of sitting there, you know, stuck and not knowing what their next step needs to be or scared to take their next step. They're going to be in an accountability group and they're going to make each other like move forward. They're going to like give each other the confidence. They're going to encourage each other. So that's also a a new thing we're doing in there that I think is going to be amazing for my ladies that wants to make this as a business and make money selling their door hangers. So if you want to be part of all of this, y'all, you totally can. Remember, my inside scoop won't reopen again until the end of August. And right now is when you will get like a year's worth of cutting tutorials. You will get uh, probably about five months of 
painting tutorials with you know different door, two door hangers a month, which is let's see, about five months. So two ten different door hanger designs. Uh, but come August, none of that will be available besides the cutting tutorials. So now is the time to get in if you want to. You're welcome, Miss Sue. Um, what else is there to know about the scoop? Other than it's an amazing group. It's an amazing group. So thank you ladies so much. Click the link in the description and head over, fill everything out, and you will get a little shipping tip that I use with some of my door hangers that I don't really want to bounce around and shift around in the boxes. A great little tip there for you for free. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So I hope y'all this Monday is going better than mine and I hope y'all have a great afternoon. And I will see y'all again probably tomorrow. I will be live over on Christy's page, um, Create with Christy, painting probably a pumpkin. Then I'm probably going to come live here. Maybe Wednesday to paint a cotton door hanger. So, partnership with Oh, yeah, so thank you, Natalie. So if you are scared about cutting, don't worry about that because I have partnered up with Home Creations, which is a, another company that sells blank door hangers. And they have, like, with the inside scoop, we have exclusive designs that's not available to the public. But they are willing to cut out our exclusive designs for all of my members that wants to order from them and don't want to cut. My throat's drying out. So if you're scared of using a jigsaw and you just don't want to cut, I better put these scissors down before I jug myself in the eye, then you don't have to worry about that as well. I'll have a link to where you can order your blanks from. You can They even have them from sizes, I think, 4 inches all the way up to 24 inches. They even offer them in, like, with 3D letters, and they offer the etching on the door hangers. So if that's been holding you back from joining the inside scoop, don't let that hold you back anymore because I got you covered when it comes to ordering, ordering your wood blanks and you not even having to pick up a jigsaw and cut at all. I'll show you the home creations. Yes, Miss Sue, and I think it's, it's, I think it opens a lot of doors, especially for those that just cannot cut or they're scared to cut. So this way, it you can still like be in the inside scoop and get all of the the parts of being inside of the scoop. So you won't get, feel like you're getting left behind because you're not cutting out and you're not being able to like paint the door hangers. So with me partnering it up with Home Creations, it just opens the doors for those that just can't cut. Because some people, you may not even have no desire to cut. All you wanna do is get to the real fun in painting and creating. So don't let that hold you back because that is not a problem. You will be able to order your our exclusive designs through Home Creations each month. And also, if you order their other designs, my Inside Scoop members, they also get a code to get 15% off of their order when they're ordering other designs. So it's a win-win for you. It's a win-win. All right, ladies, thank you so much. Hey, um, Jalpa? Keely, sorry I can't pronounce the name. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, let me know. And maybe the next time I pop on live, I will have my stuff together a little bit more and won't be as choppy with my information. So ladies, thanks so much. I will see y'all again sometime tomorrow. All right, bye.